We are doing a 1040 return with dependent and financial product. On the dashboard, we're going to select new return. 1040 individual is already selected, so just fill out the information reflecting in red. Once required information has been entered, we're going to select forms mode. On the client information sheet, we're going to select head of household and then continue to fill out all required information on the form. When you enter the address and put in the zip code, the software automatically puts in the city and state, but also adds the state information. Under other information, you will see it is asking you to answer the question about the 1095A and any of, and the other information. If you answer yes for the 1095A, the software will automatically add the 1095A and the 8962. Under the dependents information, you would click add new and fill out the dependents info. Once the dependents information is filled out, the software automatically select what the dependent may qualify for. Now we're going to add income to the return by clicking the drop down box and selecting W-2. On the W-2 form, on the W-2 form, you can select this box here to enter three and line three and five manually. Now I'm entering employer's information and also the income for the taxpayer. Once income is entered, going to go down to state information and click add new to now add state info. You will notice now, once the income has been added, you will see the AGI, the refund amount reflecting in green, or of course, if the taxpayer owe, it reflects in red. Coming down to deductions and credit, I'm going to select schedule EIC worksheet because we do have a dependent on the return. On the schedule EIC worksheet, we're going to just answer all required information. Once all required information has been entered, line nine will reflect the credit for the earned income credit. The child tax credit form automatically calculates in the software. Now to do our due diligence for the taxpayer, we're going to own the 8867, answer all required information here. And we're also going to put in the documents that we checked. And then just finish answering all required information that is reflected. Now I'm going to go up to the e-file summary and fill this out. On the e-file summary, if we want the software to automatically generate the PIN, we would select this box for the taxpayer. Otherwise, the PIN can be entered manually. And then going to just finish filling out the required information. Under the refund payment option, going to select bank product and then select the bank that we are enrolled in. Once the bank is selected, the notification box will pop up with the bank's routing and account number. You just click OK and it puts that information under bank account information for the bank. Now going up to tools and clicking on invoice to put in the tax preparer fees. The fees can be entered by form or you can put in one charge. Once the fee is entered, you will see the total reflecting at the bottom of the invoice. On the bank application, we're going to fill out 
this information where the taxpayer would like to receive their refund by answering the required information. When we get to the identification field, because we put in driver's license info on the e-file summary, we will select driver's license number. But as you can see, you do get multiple options to enter any type of identification here. The driver's license info flows over from the e-file summary. Under disbursement method, we're going to select how the taxpayer would like to receive the remaining refund and filling out the required info. Once the required information has been entered, you will see under refund transfer fee, not only the bank's fee, but the tax preparer's fee info as well. The total fee will reflect on the less authorized authorized fee line and the remainder that the taxpayer will receive will show under directly to you. Then I'm going to go to the state return and answer all required information. If any additional information needs to be answered, you would do so as well. If the taxpayer would want their state refund to go through the bank you can select same information as the federal return otherwise if they just want their state refund directly deposited into their bank account you will select state direct deposit and fill out all required information once the return is complete we will do the perform review once that is selected, you want to select display errors for all so you can see all the errors inside of the return. Under type, click in the box and the software will take you to the specific spot where it's looking at in the return. And then you would just type in or fill out that information if required. Once the perform review has been completed, now it's time to e-file the return. We will go up and click on e-file transmit return select federal the software will automatically select the bank and select the state and click send once send is selected we will click close out of the return and go back to the dashboard where you will see the return information go through the e-file summary and that is how you complete a 1040 return with a dependent and a financial product.